Want to say hi to the camera? Say hi. Who's that? It's a pretty bird. Pretty bird. It's a pretty bird. Pretty bird. You wanna hang out with me while we do our video? Yeah? Such a good boy. Bird nerds! How's everyone doing? Hopefully, doing great. Having a fantastic... I guess today's Sunday for me. When you guys see this, it'll be later in the week, but we're just out here hanging. Chilling out with Mikey, gonna bring you guys another video and uh, you know, highlight some species, talk about some successes and some needs to know on some certain species of birds. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good time, huh Mikey? Should we get into it, buddy? Yeah, should we do it? Let's do it. Like I mentioned before, I had a terrible. Huh? Before we get into the video, if this is your first time watching the Birdner channel, go ahead and click that subscribe and that like button. We've got nothing but birds. I'll even move the camera around. We've got 360 degree angle and even more out back through those windows, huge aviary. Nothing but finches, uh, some smaller hook bills. We've got Mikey, our cockatiel. We've got uh, some splendid grass parakeets. We've got rosy borks, canaries, and then the rest are finch species, over uh, 20 different species that I have here at the Bird Nerd Aviary. We talk about keep them healthy, nutrition, breeding, housing, all the above. So if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. Join the Bird Nerd family. What do you think, Mikey? Should they should they join the Bird Nerd family? Yeah? All right, sounds good, dude. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Also, wanted to take a moment. And if you guys haven't watched our recent podcast video, episode 40, 40, we had some big news there. We did just pick up a new sponsor, New Zealand. Uh, it sounds like New Zealand, but it's New Zealand. Uh, please go ahead and uh, go out, check out their catalog. They've got tons of awesome products. A lot of them are geared towards the larger hookbills, but we are working with them, getting some smaller finch uh, toys, seed, nutritional products, etc., cages. So as that catalog expounds, uh, we'll be able to offer and provide more for you guys as listeners. And as a Bird Nerd and a Bird Brains podcast listeners, we are offering a 10% discount on our products uh, through the catalog. So please go ahead and click. And that code is Bird Brains. It's all together, one word, Bird Brains, for 10% off all the products that you have there. We They also have a subscription through their channel through their product line called the perch box honestly it looks really awesome guys we're gonna have some perch box products coming through we're gonna highlight them on my channel on jay's channel on our podcast all the different products that come in with it and we've got different sizes you got small medium extra large large uh for different sizes of birds and their different needs and nutritional values needs as well so we also will have a special bird brains box upcoming hopefully we'll have some good discounts on that coming up for you guys and some cool opportunities there but if you haven't already go in and subscribe to those perch boxes even if you subscribe now once the bird brains perch box becomes available you guys will be able to access that uh, same as the other one so it should be really cool and an awesome option I'm really excited to get the cocktail perch box so the medium-sized bird so that we can get some cool toys and nutritional products for Mikey and then some of the small perch box and then the bird brains perch box options for the rest of our finches. And if you guys have finches, even if you have large hook bills at home, parrots, macaws, Amazons, ring necks, conures, all of that, we've got a subscription there for those perch boxes for you guys to utilize and use. And it's gonna be really cool. We're really excited to partner with our New Zealand uh, partners and have some good stuff coming you guys' way. So. Use the Bird Brains code down at the bottom to get a 10% discount. Subscribe to the Perch Box uh, subscriptions. It's a monthly subscription. 
Honestly, it's really cool. I'm excited to get my first perch box coming here this next month. And then uh, as we go move along uh, with our partnership, we'll hopefully we'll be able to offer some more discounts for you guys. So stay tuned for that to come. But appreciate you guys. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for our new sponsors, New Zealand. Go and check out their catalog, get you some products, get you some seed. We're gonna be highlighting tons and tons of their different food items and products here on the channel at the Javiary channel and on our Bird Brains podcast. So more to come, stay tuned. Super excited for it. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, super excited for our new sponsors. So we're gonna highlight today our canaries. I know I've had a lot of people asking, hey, what happened to your canaries? <laughs> Any follow-up videos? And to be honest with you, guys, I, I had a terrible season, a terrible year with the canaries. And so as I have gone back, Reevaluated. I, I, I'm not breeding any canaries right now. I've pulled them all out. They're all on the aviary, and we'll throw in some clips so you guys can see where the canaries are at, how they're doing. Uh, but what I want to highlight today is the top three things that I wish I knew before I started breeding my canaries. Now, I've been breeding canaries a long time, but that doesn't mean every year is going to be the same. Doesn't mean I'm going to be just as successful. I tried a few things differently this last year and it came back and bit me in the butt. And if you guys have watched Jay and I's podcast, we kind of highlight some of those things throughout. And I'm gonna mention a couple, a couple of those things will be in my top threes. I wish I knew before I had canaries or before I started to breed canaries. And now these top threes are gonna be generalized, right? The top three things that I wish I knew to keep, house, and breed canaries. So those, those are gonna be the top three things. And I think sometimes people either make the mistake or they don't realize what they're getting into when they buy that first canary or when they buy five different canaries, right? Uh, so we're gonna get into that and hopefully you guys will enjoy it, give you some new uh, informational uh, value to this to this message. Mikey's gonna hang out with me the whole time. He's been, uh, been my buddy all throughout. Hopefully you'll stay on my shoulder throughout the video, you think? Yeah? He just keeps shaking his head, so he's probably like, get me off the shoulder, put me back in the cage. No, I'm just kidding. He actually loves, you love hanging out, don't you, buddy? Except every time you flick your head, you flick your mohawk right in my eye, bro. Yeah, right there. Yep, you just did it again. Anyways, let's get going, guys. So the number one thing that I wish I knew before I had a canary is the volume of their song. Now, females, they don't sing. But your males, they sing, and they can sing really loud. I've had a lot of people that buy canaries because they're really beautiful. Or they do buy them for their song, but then they don't realize when it's breeding time, those males, their song can get really loud and can be non-stop throughout the day, especially if they're by themselves, right? Males will sing more when they're by themselves and they'll sing louder. When they're with a the female, they don't tend to sing as much during the breeding season, but they still sing quite a bit. Canaries can be a loud bird. So if you're in a smaller apartment, even though canaries can do okay in a smaller cage, I wouldn't recommend it, but they can. Uh, they can sing really loud and they can be pretty noisy for your neighbors. Thankfully, I have a big aviary. I've got a decent sized backyard. I do have neighbors all around me, but it's we're, we're far enough apart that the, 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 the their song is more of a musical sound to them, at least that I, I, I think that I'm aware of. I haven't had any complaints, uh, but I think they enjoy them a little bit more because they can hear that song from a distance and it's not ringing and, and making them deaf in their ears because the song is so loud and so constant. So take note, canaries can be very loud, especially the males when they are in breeding condition and they're wanting to sing. So when they're in the breeding season, they sing a lot. When they're molting and it's their resting period, they don't sing that much and they can be a lot quieter. So if you want a canary, but you live in a close quarter apartment or housing and you may have neighbors that don't want to hear that, I would recommend getting a female canary because they're, they, don't, they don't sing as loud as the males. They don't have uh, you know a constant song. They have little chirps and little calls but they're quiet enough that they're not gonna become a nuisance uh, to any neighbors or, or surrounding houses, et cetera. So that's probably the first thing that I take note of and that maybe I didn't take into consideration before I owned a canary. Mikey left me a present on my shoulder and then you flew off. That wasn't very kind, dude. Come on, we're trying to make a video here. Should we do uh, number two on maybe what you should know before you buy a canary? or any bird in general. Mikey just proved it. They are messy. 
Let me uh, show you. This is three days after I have cleaned. Now I do have wood chips down just because we have uh, had a lot of moisture. Birds are very messy. Wouldn't you think, Mikey? Are you messy? Yeah, they're messy. Canaries are messy. Finches are messy. Cockatiels are messy. Large parrots are messy. Any bird is messy. You get seed everywhere. You get feathers everywhere. And what Mikey just left on my shoulder, you get poop everywhere. So take into consideration if you're going to get a bird, any bird in general, canary, finch, large hookbill, small hookbill, they do poop a lot. They flap their wings a lot, which makes their seed fly around. They molt their feathers annually, so they're constantly molting and, and cycling through uh, feathers, and so you get a lot of feathers. Probably an added thing, a lot of your Australian species have a lot of dander. So a lot of dust comes off of their feathers, especially cockatiels. So bathing's important, uh, keeping, the, keeping their feathers nice and in a healthy condition. It can get dusty, so cleaning the cages, etc. So birds can be messy. So please take that into consideration. Canaries, when they go through a molt in the winter time or in their off season, they lose their feathers quickly. They usually, it takes about one to three months, depending if they do a hard molt or a, a, a prolonged molt, uh, they lose all their feathers uh, you know, within that one to three months. So you are constantly, every day, vacuuming up feathers around the cages. When it's in breeding season, they're in full molt, they're, they're in full song and they're, and they're mating. They don't, they don't molt, they shouldn't be molting their feathers, right? So um, take that in consideration. Birds are messy and canaries are messy along with being loud. So that's number two. All right, Mikey, should we do number three? You wanna hang out on my shoulder? Come on, dude. You, just wanna, you like hanging out on my hand? You are such a good boy. I'm gonna put you on there anyways. You gonna fly off again? Don't poop on me, please. Okay, number three for canaries. Canaries are a little bit different with than, than your finches. Finches are a social bird, and your canaries are not as social as people want them to be or think that they are. For example, if you get two males and you put them together in a cage, during the off season, they'll probably be okay and do all right with each other. During breeding season, when they're wanting to mate and attract a female, they will fight. Uh, I've had canaries draw blood before. I've never, they've never fought to the death, but I've had canaries get very aggressive towards another canary because they're trying to establish dominance. They're trying to establish their territory. They're trying to establish a, a nesting site and they don't want any other male, male canaries there competing for that. They sing really loud and a lot, like I mentioned before, because they're trying to attract a female. If there's other males in their area, they're gonna try and push them away and fight them, okay? Especially if you have females that you introduce. So, canaries are not as social as you would think they would be or should be. Finches are very social. You want them to be together, okay? Canaries, not so much. Males will fight. Your females will do better together uh, during breeding. They can bicker. Oh, no, he already left me. Dude, come on. Your females can uh, get along a little bit better. So if you are gonna house canaries together, I would recommend that it be females. If you have males, especially during the breeding season, I would separate them. If you have them in smaller cages, that's even worse, right? Because then they're gonna fight and the other, the other male doesn't have anywhere to escape. He's gonna get beat up pretty good. So keep your canaries separate, uh, your males separate. I would say your males, your, your females, you can make it work with them together. Canaries do okay in a solitary setting. So if you can only handle one bird in your house or your cage, your apartment, etc., a male canary is a great option. Or if you don't want the noise, like I'd mentioned before, a female canary is a great option. They don't need the constant companionship like a finch does or other parrots. Um, to be happy. They can be just as content uh, together or, or indiv in individual cages. They like their own space. I do house my canaries uh, together. I have my males on one side and my females on the other because I have a really large aviary. They can escape. They can, uh, you know, get away from any other aggressive canaries and, and it seems to work out all right. I have never seen my canaries preen each other. I've never seen them sleep next to each other. Um, it's in a big environment. If, a, if you have a small cage, yeah, they're gonna be right next to each other because they have nowhere else to go. Uh, I've had one time where I've had two canaries share nests, my females. 
I've had where males will um, raise chicks from two separate females at the same time, right? Um, so, but they're, they're, they, don't, they don't really have a social hierarchy. They don't need uh, that constant companionship like say a zebra finch. I would say you always need to have two, right? Uh, canaries, they can be solitary. So if you're looking for that one bird, a female canary is great if you don't want the noise or a male canary is, in my opinion, even better because then you get the beautiful song and they're okay uh, in a cage by themselves. So take that into consideration for number three of what to know before you buy a canary. Now, like I mentioned before, I had a terrible uh, canary breeding season. So I would also put in there if you are trying to breed your canaries, refer back to our podcast, episode 40, that Jay and I talked about, about bringing your birds into condition. I would take all four of the things that we talked about in, in that podcast uh, very seriously, especially for canaries. They're very sensitive to your environment, to the lighting, to the temperature, and the nutrition that you give them. Those are the four things that we talked about, about bringing your birds into condition. It's very crucial for a canary. They're more specific in the lighting schedules and the nutritional schedules than some of your other finches are. But if you're just trying to keep a canary in general, those, those top three things to take into consideration that I mentioned in this video, I think would be great. They go a long ways. And hopefully um, it'll sway you in a direction of wanting to get a bird or not. Or if you already have them, let me know if you have any other tips or pointers that you think I should have added into the video. Drop them down in the comments. We'd love to, we'd love to hear them and, and talk about them. I think they're, it's always fun to collaborate with you guys back and forth. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully it gives you guys some, some good pointers, some good ideas. Uh, uh, if you want a canary or if a canary is for you or not, I love my canaries. They are beautiful birds, but you have your pros and you have your cons with the canaries and really with any other bird in general. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this again. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Share it with others so that we can extend the bird nerd family out to all around the world, those that own birds. It doesn't have to be just finches, any type of bird. We love to, to collaborate and communicate with everybody around, around the world. And then also go in and check out our New Zealand sponsor. Check out their catalog, see what products they have. There's different types of seeds that they have. Their Perch Box subscription. And we still have a lot more things coming as far as discounts come uh, with the subscriptions and different types of products that you guys can get and, and be able to view uh, within their catalog. So super excited for that sponsorship. Click that Bird Brains link for the discount code for 10% off on any of their products on their catalog. More to come. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.